Good afternoon to one and all present here. I welcome uh, I, I welcome everyone for this impact lecture series, lecture three, uh, for this uh, organized by the IIC Council of uh, Institute Innovation Council of Parkia University. So today's topic is about recent developments in IPR. Uh, so I will I wholeheartedly welcome Dr. M. Thunfandian, the president of the IIC, uh, the convener, uh, Dr. J. Amir Khani, and the organizing secretary, uh, Dr. K. G. Badmasin, uh, and uh, Ms., uh, Dr. Surendra, who, who are the organizing secretaries. So before going into the session, I would like to have a brief, brief introduction about our speaker, uh, Mr. Ram, Ram Jahawar. So, uh, uh, Ram Jaffar is an assistant controller of patent and designs in the Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India. He has examined and granted more than 10,000 new in inventions. He is a mechanical engineer, obtained his ME uh, from the College of Engineering, Anna University, Indy, Chennai, and MTech from the College of Engineering, Anna University, Indy. Uh, he has more than four years of teaching experience in the Department of Mechanical Engineering uh, in College of Engineering, uh, Chennai. He obtained DL101, General Course of on Intellectual Property Rights, WIPO, Geneva. DL201, Copyrights and Related Rights, WIPO, uh, Geneva. Uh, DL202, Electronic Commerce and Intellectual Property, WIPO, Geneva. DL318, Advanced Course in Patent Information Search, WIPO, Geneva. He has also obtained PG diploma in the IPR. He has been to Japan for three months to study the procedures at the system practice at Japan Patent Office. He has also obtained a certificate course in German language from the University of Madras. So with this brief introduction, so we wholeheartedly welcome you for this impact lecture series. Now the session is yours, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for giving this wonderful opportunity. So, yeah. I am Parimir Yeah, please, sir. Please. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah welcome. Welcome. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Okay. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, kindly make me as a present. Uh, allow me as a present. I can uh, share my entire screen. You can yeah, share. I will do it, I think. Uh, Dr. Grace, madam. Sir, you can share, sir. Yeah, you can share. Entire screen. Uh, can you see my screen now? Yeah, yeah. it is sharing now, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. Sir, can you put it in the slideshow mode? Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much for giving this wonderful opportunity. So today's uh, topic is uh, recent developments in uh, intellectual property rights. I uh, hope many people know about what is intellectual property rights. Uh, uh, the previously, nobody knows about what is intellectual property rights. But uh, for the past five years, uh, everybody talks about intellectual property rights. Many people know about what is intellectual uh, property rights. But uh, uh, what is a real problem when the practical approach when they come to intellectual property office what happens why they are not succeeds that's a, a biggest question arises i have madam rightly told i have granted nearly 10000 patent applications but out of this 10000 patent applications uh, previously uh, that is nearly around 80 percentage of applicants i met or foreign applicants japanese applicants europe an applicant, US applicant, only about nearly the 20 percent of applicants are Indian applicants. To that one, foreign applicants, majority of the applications were get granted, and the Indian applicants, majority, nearly around 50 to 60 percent patents are not getting granted. So, the uh, this was the situation earlier. The main reason before is uh, the why it is not getting granted, why the filing rate is very less. The main reason behind is the awareness the people people are not giving any importance to intellectual property rights the copying is very common so nobody cares about what is intellectual 
property rights but today's scenario it is not that now we are spreading awareness to all over the all over tamil nadu so most of the colleges we are spreading awareness uh, today's scenario uh, i think in 2022 the percentage is slowly the indian applicants are overtaking the foreign applicants the nearly around uh, more than 50 percentage of applicants today filing are indian applicants the previously it was only 20 percentage now it is crossing 50 percentage means so our uh, filing rate is much more than other country applicants this is mainly because the awareness point of view okay this is mainly because awareness point of view i always used to say one example uh, that is uh, oh, one famous example that people used to say the kodak and polaroid i think you people know but many people in google they might have no book they might have typed and know about this matter in google uh, i mean in what happened in kodak kodak is a only company i think you know about it is a camera company uh, these people have done a excellent technology the people advised to kodak to file a patent but those people are not giving any importance to intellectual property right there is no use of intellectual property right they have not given much importance at the same time what happened Kod uh, polaroid people uh, some of know about their uh, uh invention and uh, some of they made some product and they filed the uh, patent they filed the patent so very next day what happened after they got a patent immediately say they sent a notice to kodak people and says that this is our uh, work so in front of the court the, now the case goes to the court and finally in front of the court what happened uh, the kodak people could not prove they are not succeed because the people who filed the patent first is polaroid and finally kodak people they lose the case they lost the case and uh, what happened finally the po polaroid won the case and has the huge compensation to polaroid even though the kodak was uh, he, they were the original inventors they have not filed the patent they could not prove in front of the court so the court has to uh, pay the high compensation so they could not pay such a huge compensation today the company like kodak exists or not that's a biggest question mark so why i am saying this story is because uh people not giving any importance to intellectual property rights just because they have not given uh, any importance to intellectual property rights they face the problem so whether to get a royalty from other people or not at least to protect your own product at least to protect your own product intellectual property rights is very very importance many people know also about what is intellectual property rights i am not going deep into intellectual property right but i'll give you small introduction then we'll go to the recent developments okay intellectual property intellectual property in the sense the creation of intellect in industrial scientific literary and artistic field okay the exclusive right to the owner for commercial exploitation subject to national laws international agreements with view to reward the intellectual creativity suppose uh, the very uh, common way if you want to define intellectual property rights when you suppose you are buying a land what you will do you will go to the sub register office and change all your documents and after that to get a patta you go to revenue office then uh, there is a huge process is there even after getting a patta also someone is make a duplicate document and makes a, Uh, something else and uh, duplicate uh, this thing. There are so many problems are happening. These are all the visible properties. So things like invisible properties, the how much risk will be there? If suppose you are inventing something, but someone else is stolen means there is someone to safeguard. Who will safeguard? If somebody is copied means who will safeguard? So for that reason, intellectual property was created. Previously in fifty sixty years. Uh, the earlier time what happened if someone is invented something they just call the person and they just honor the person just give a sol and uh, uh, give a cash award only these things was happened whether is it enough the person who invented light you are just giving a sol and giving some honorarium in the is it enough no they need to honor that is the reason why the framework of intellectual property rights has evolved Uh, what happens really? That's royalty. 
if someone is using so someone is a uh, uh, invented uh, fridge or something else a uh, new technology in tv but somebody else is using it they need to pay a royalty indirectly if suppose we are buying a tv means what we do we are paying a huge amount to the shop owner so in this one the gst one slab is there some royalty one slab is there it's a some hidden charges are there these hidden charges will go to the real inventor so the <clears throat> this is the way we honor the creators this is the way we honor the creators to owner for commercial exploitation and subject to national laws international ag agreements which due to reward the intellectual creativity so many people think that the recent days only people are talking about intellectual property rights but actually speaking uh, this is not the new concept this is a very old concept in the sense um, uh, there is a paris convention it happened in the year 1883 as per the paris convention mainly to protect intellectual i mean industrial design in intellectual property rights means there are many classifications are there uh, don't think that only patents are on patents designs trademark geographical indications patents designs trademark job and semiconductor rights and plant breeder rights there are so many rights copyrights and related rights there are so many rights are there so i'm not going to all the topics but i will give you some introduction about what is the difference between all these things so paris convention it started in the year 1883 mainly to protect industrial design okay what is it if i ask you the question what is the difference between the design and patents if design and patent means the main difference is design is a aesthetic appearance design is a aesthetic appearance in the blind eye if you are seeing something that is no technical matter involved no technical matter involved that is the design rights for example for patents you are making all those technical changes your spending is about uh, 70 rupees means you can sell the product in 100 rupees but for the design if you are spending at 20 rupees people are selling it at 100 rupees so why because the aesthetic appearance we we people first love that aesthetic appearance for example one pencil cost how much is one pencil cost it is 10 rupees one pencil cost is 10 rupees so one person just made a doll at the top of one doll at the top of the pencil so a small uh, small doll the chinchan doll or something else but i go to the shop immediately my daughter asked i want only this pencil nothing is there in at the top of the pencil only one uh, chinchan doll that is uh, some some cute some some dancing uh, something else is there that cost is around 10 to 20 rupees the doll cost is but the selling price of the pencil is 80 to 90 rupees only the pencil is 10 rupees because of the doll it goes up to 90 rupees see the percentage increase so nearly around 500 percentage gain people are getting because of design related rights for example every car today's one car the uh, the for example one ford eco sport is there it has a beautiful design because of the design the sales is huge the hyundai cars are there all the hyundai cars most of the hyundai cars whatever you take i20 or except or whatever maybe all these are 1200 cc same exhaust system everything else is the technical arrangement everything is same but the design is different because of the design people likes the design one car sells is i you may think that uh, this color this beach color not appearing in other beach color with the design appear in only the uh, one type of car because they got the design rights others cannot use that particular right this is about that paris convention to protect the industrial design industrial design then the next one is the burn convention or universal copyright convention so universal copyright convention is to protect literary and artistic field what is literary and artistic field for example if you are writing a book what you will do you need to register the book in a copyright office so in copyright office only one copyright office available in india that is at delhi 
So many people think that copyright means many people come to Chennai patent office and file a copyright. It's not so. Copyright is different. Patent is different. Design is different. Trademark is different. What is actually this copyright? This copyright, if suppose you are writing a book, the, if it is registered under that copyright certificate, then others cannot copy. So someone is copying, it's a criminal offense. But today's world, we just go to the library and won't take a foreign author book and we are taking a Xerox and we are reading. Whether it is right or not, as per the Copyright Act said that it is also a criminal offense. It is also a criminal offense. You are not supposed to copy. So, what person is making a book? Uh, he just copying as such a same problem from the one foreign author book. He is making one uh, his own book. In this scenario, whether uh, it is offense or not. Yes, what is the percentage of copying? If as such it is, there means definitely it's a offense. That, that is the reason why the funny way of saying the people not copying from one book, they are copying from 50 books and make one new book. So many people, they are not even copying the, if suppose the problems means uh, as such, the, even they are not uh, copying, the, changing the numbers. So, they need to at least to change the, uh, so do some small modifications. These are all the copyright violation and artistic field. You are making some drawings, well, tangible paintings are there. These are all protected under artistic field, others cannot copy. Okay. This convention is called Bern Convention or Universal Copyright Convention. It started in the year 18. 86. It's mainly to protect literary and artistic field. So the next one is Rome Convention. Ne Rome Convention, it's a just a modification, just a advancement from the Bern Convention or Universal Copyright Convention. What actually the Rome Convention says is performers of phonograms of producers, broadcasting rights and other includers rights. So previously there is only the uh, writing of books were there. Nowadays, nobody, many people, they don't go to the library and see the books. They just open the Google, they just open the Wikipedia or open the website and they are reading. So, these advancements were covered in the Rome conventions. For example, broadcasting rights in the sense, uh, today the Sony is telecasting India, England match means uh, only Sony can telecast. Other people cannot copy. The previously the Star Sports telecasted the matches. Now Sony is telecasting. So now the Star Sports become silent. They cannot copy. Only the news channel people they can show the important. Uh, I mean, the, whenever the wicket happens or whenever the main only the two or three minutes they cannot uh, do the live telecast. So these modifications, the broadcasting right, these modifications were happened in the Rome Conventions. Okay, if you ask me the question. So, how many years they have the right means? If suppose they are the cricket match means 25 years they have the right. The person uh, who got the right, he has the right of 25 years. After 25 years, what will happen? That will become a public property. This is for broadcasting rights. For example, in the artistic field, means if someone is, if Hila Raja is making a music, someone else is copying, they cannot copy the music. So, how long he can enjoy the right? What the act says is that after death of author, it is 60 years. After death of author, it is 60 years. But broadcasting rights, it is only 20 years. But in artistic field, for example, uh, this type of uh, uh, rights, Hilai Raja is making a music. The previously, some you know, many people, they ask me the question, so what happened to Hilai Raja and SPB? So, Vilay Raja made a beautiful music, but he helped me perform the music in US. He is earning a lot, earned a lot. What he has is the percentage of royalty. As per law says that what he has this right. So, in between the producer comes and says, I already paid money to music director, lyrics writer and singer. So, the rights always rests with me. So, that is a scenario why the today's world, what A. R. Rahman is doing, even though you are paying a money for making a music, the song rights always lies with me like that the separate agreement is this in this scenario all the rights goes to 
use its character. If nothing is there, no agreement is special agreement is happened means then there is a sharing is there, 5 is to 3 is to 2. Okay, these type of sharings, uh, some written sharings are there. Okay, this is about that uh, burn convention. And finally, uh, other modification the right sees uh, uh, the matrix protocol, it is mainly for trademark. Many people they ask the question, what is the trademark? Trademark is nothing but the style of writing, the bar of the year university. How? The, the font of writing, the font of writing or uh, the famous case of uh, biryani, the talapa kati biryani, talapa kati biryani, the previously every road corner you can see that biryani shop, the talapa kati biryani. But after that the real owners they go to the court, very next day the order came, immediately all the yellow color board were removed, then they have given a judgment that one is called chenei rautar talapa kati biryani, other one is called dindukal talapa kati biryani. These people cannot interfere with their rights. So the style of writing talapa kattu or talapa kati, these are all comes under the trademark rights. Okay, these are all comes under the trademark related rights. So what we have seen is this is not the uh, the fresh concept. The today's world we are talking about IPR for the past five ten years, but it is not the new concept. It's a very old concept. In 1883, Paris Convention mainly to protect a design, and 1886, uh, copyright and related rights, a uh, burn convention, then Rome Convention is uh, broadcasting rights and mandatory protocol. There are so many rights are there. Okay, uh, don't wait uh, till the end. If any time, if you people have a doubts, you please feel free to ask. Okay. So I'm not going deep into the subject, but we must know. What is the difference between uh, some basic concept about these are like economic you know, concepts like uh, GOT, WTO, WIPO and TRIPS. So what is GOT? So many people know about GOT. GOT means General Agreement on Tariff and Trade. So GOT means General Agreement on Tariff and Trade. And WTO means World Trade Organization. WIPO, World Intellectual Property Organization. TRIPS, Trade Related Intellectual Property Rights, okay. These are all the some, uh, what is the difference between the GOT, WTO, WIPO and TRIPS. So GOT is a general agreement on tariff and trade. It is started in the year 1948, 1948 mainly. So these have some relations with intellectual property rights. It's a substantial reduction of tariff. The main thing is substantial reduction of tariff. So one main drawback in GOT is so no dispute regulation body. It's not the, uh, the institutionalized but WTO is an institutionalized body but it's not institutionalized. Uh, you suppose GOT is uh, uh, giving some orders means there is no compulsion to follow. These are the, some of the drawbacks with GOT. So GOT becomes up uh, the uh, in 1995 1st Jan 1995, WTO introduced World Trade Organization. What is the difference between GOT and WTO? There is no difference. GOT becomes WTO. In 1948 to 1995, it was GOT. From 1st Jan 1995 onwards, the GOT becomes WTO. Okay, WTO is a body to implementation. So, main problem with GOT is there is no compulsory implementation. But here, implementation concept was there. So GOT is a mainly is a the main difference between these two is GOT is a agreement but WTO is an institution. GOT we can say that is ad hoc or provisional but WTO is a permanent body but GOT only the trade and goods but no services involved in WTO services also involved in GOT there is no dispute settlement body but here it has a dispute settlement body but as per got the local laws are different wto local laws must match 90 percent of the local laws must match so every country has ipr ipr means more than 90 percentage of their all these agreements and everything the laws are same but as per got there is no compulsion like that okay that's the main difference between wto and got so the principle the wto the main principle of wto is 
no discrimination no country should be you should not discriminate any country so equal treatment to all countries with respect to trade and tariff equal treatment you need to give okay that is a uh, that is a reason why uh, from other countries if suppose some items are coming means we cannot just like that ban the items because we also india is also a member of wto so recently some items that comes from china uh we that our customs has stopped the ship but all the items that name it is printed is made in india but actually all these things are from china all the goods are from china but they printed as made in india all are substandard items what is the main reason to spoil the name of india because it is a substandard items so already some name is that the whenever the product is not working immediately we say that it is a chinese item so that's the reason why to spoil the name of other country the all the items they named like that so okay so most there is nothing like a most favored nations okay the national treatment is there in, uh, all these things are there. in wto the agreement is called murakis agreement where the wto is formed the free and fair trade what is this free and fair trade whenever your trade must be increased one country's economy we need some beautiful economy we need some good economy means first we must improve our trade without trade no country will develop okay whenever your trade improves whenever your export improves definitely your economy will improve once your economy will improve definitely your gdp will improve okay this is a scenario trade improves economy improves economy improves gdp improves so how to improve the trade to improve the trade it need it need so many inventions whenever you have a beautiful inventions you can make a beautiful product then you can do the beautiful trade that's a famous example we used to say is the countries like japan they does not have any beautiful resources as compared to japan india indian soil has so much of resources but the only plus of japan is technology technology but in the australia has beautiful resources what are australia is sending bauxite to japan australia is sending bauxite to japan and japan is making a beautiful aluminium product and send it back to australia and making huge profit because they don't have technology these people have a beautiful technology so if we have a technology to so the maximum number of engineering colleges available in india there are so many engineers are coming out every year if you people are making some beautiful products then what will happen the beautiful inventions will happen so beautiful inventions comes then patents will happen but whenever the patents comes then uh, what can i say then uh, it made us a technology transfer will happen whenever technology transfers come the product will come when the product comes then the trade will improve the economy will improve your gdp will improve so india's gdp is you people okay you must understand that what we can do after our we don't think like that you are a main contributors in india's improvement of gdp so what this wto is say is to remove the trade barrier is very very important what is this trade barrier the trade barrier in the sense there are two type of things they used to say one is called a uh, tariff barrier and non tariff barrier okay what is this tariff barrier the so tariff barrier which consists of uh, that is uh, the export duty import duty the people know about what is this export duty and import duty okay for example uh, if suppose the harley davidson bike the cost of the bike is around 2 lakhs when the bike when it comes to india they need to pay 100% import duty if suppose the bike owner pays 100% import duty then the cost of the bike will be 2 lakh plus 2 lakh then the selling price will be 4 lakhs why the import duty because to protect indian 
inventions and indian inventors if it comes the people start buying only this type of bikes this is called import duty and other type of duty is called the export duty for example what is export duty in india onion price is there onion price is for example you please assume it is 100 rupees if there is no export duty the people will export all the uh, onion to other countries then what will happen the local demand will come that is the reason why the 100 percentage of export duty for onion if uh, i mean the onion price is 100 rupees means uh, the export duty is 100 percent and then what will happen the selling price is 200 rupees in other countries so people will not buy if there is no export duty then our people will export all the onion to other countries then local demand will come whenever local demand comes then our people will suffer so to protect our people what government of india does export duty okay this is about that tariff barrier this is called tariff barrier and other one is called non tariff barriers what is this non tariff barriers get license from india to import for example the tesla car okay tesla car the still it is not what is the reason no tesla car in india because we have a quota restrictions like fixing the quantity of import so limited quantity may be import from other country limited quantity so th they need to get a license they need to get a license then you may ask the question there is uh, no differential treatment so in this scenario you can come to india and sell but you need to pay the tax okay the production subsidy for example tesla car in us government uh, what happens what we are saying the 80000 rupees uh, i mean 1 lakh its manufacturing cost means so 20 percentage us government is giving to tesla when us government giving to tesla means they are giving the subsidy but what wto says is it is against the subsidy what india uh, for example the wto says to stop all the ration shops and don't give any subsidy to the people india is a country of the poor people they need to give a subsidy to the people if one one fine morning we cannot close all the ration shop so how india counters we are giving subsidy in the form to the poor but you are giving subsidy in the form of research you are also giving subsidy for example 20 percent subsidy given to tesla car so you please stop you please stop giving subsidy then we will also stop we will also uh, stop uh, stop uh, this type of subsidy to the poor people uh, these are the, some of the basic economic concepts for example the safety regulations what is the safety regulations uh, previously uh, we exported mangoes to european countries that is mango means india is a base for mango plantation we are exporting so much of things so what they said is because of the reason the entire slot they rejected so safety regulations in the meaning of they say that it is a safety regulations so no country is buying crackers from india do you know the reason why because india is using child labor that class is there so everywhere they have an excellent framework but some small classes there uh, that is the that is the reason why the generalized system of preferences is there but in 2019 what happened the trump government abolished a special treatment to india what uh, trump says is india is not the poor country they say like that after the pulkama incident uh, pakistan removed from the most favored nations uh, of us so imposing uh, import duty for samsung at the early stage is not again the national treatment if you ask me the question national treatment but it's on the early stages import duty so that's not against the nation nation treatment okay so uh, this is about some of the basic concept we must know about uh, what is the intellectual property evolves before that uh, 
there are even in the class uh, services also involved in wto services in the sense there are so many modes are there that is a cross border services consumption abroad what is this cross border services for example the bpo and uh, uh, the customers are a and b is a uh, services for example b in us customers india call centers making a programs for us the services cross border but not service provider this is about that cross border services then consumption abroad only the only the customer moves for example the medical tourism the customer moves and commercial presence is always there the service provider moves not the entire company the kfc completely moves to india the presence of the natural person moves from one country to other uh, uh, the clear example is the london doctor comes to india for treatment so this is about uh, some of the uh, i am not going deep into wto but give, giving some glance about what is wto how the wto impact affect uh, the people using wto how we can develop how to improve our gdp how to improve our economy so all these things we must understand i uh, maybe it may be the intellectual property rights lecture but the basics this intellectual property rights how affects our economy that you must know so wipo world intellectual property organization the head office as wipo is at geneva the wipo indirectly it governs what is a dispute settlement whenever you suppose you want to file a patent i got a patent in india but i want to get a protection in all, all over the world so once you file a patent in india immediately within a year time you can file a pct application patent cooperation treaty application what we will do we will forward your application to wipo wipo will forward the your application to all the member nations nearly around 152 nations are there so we will forward your application to 152 nations so then we you can proceed with accordingly other countries so next one is trips i think you know about what is trips and trips the uh, trims these are all some economic concept the trips trips is nothing but trade related intellectual property sorry services the creation of mind okay uh, based on trips they have some framework of how the copyright law will be how the patent law will be so based on these trips only indian patent act 1970 also made based on the trips guidelines okay so one of the they always used to say that part 3 of the trips says that uh, enforcement of ipr now some of the questions are coming the enforcement of ipr is not up to the mark means in this scenario we are giving training to the police officials and customs officials how to make the uh, this one much more strong okay the trips it's a uh, so uh it's a creation so based on trips only all these uh this patent act and designs act trademark act all were evolved for example when you when we talk about copyright means the you people know about that movie called three idiots chetan bhagat so based on his book they said that so then there are so many issues happened so whenever we talk about copyright means immediately the ar murugadas more often got and uh, sony releases today all protected so the, there are so many case studies are there okay this is about that and one more thing is called trims trims is uh, investment measures uh, what can i say it's something like in the newspaper you might be saying it is something about bullyism what is bullyism gold standards bullyism in the sense gold standards fda for example in trims the mega you heard about mega multilateral investment guarantee agency to protect the investment government provides insurance non economic reasons for example one clear example is for example in tutukudi the sterling factory is there suddenly the factory closed in one point of view it affects the people it closed in other point of view Uh, just because the factory closed there is a huge loss for the owner so in this scenario how the owner may survive so the compensation if 
you are a member of the trims if you are a member of the mega multilateral investment guarantee agency so they will give the uh, insurance okay insurance amount uh, these are all the concept of trims okay these are all the concept of trims okay next thing is sir you are saying so many things what is the advantages of patents the advantages in the sense avoids a duplication of research keeps the abreast and latest development in the different fields of technology main enemy against our economy is in india what i say is duplication of research duplication copying is more we are having 400 engineering colleges means uh, the previous thing worked in the college i go to one college one person has explained his invention it's a beautiful invention given very good marks then when i go to other college the other student also started explaining the same invention i know that he has not copied but where he goes wrong where he goes wrong he has not made any proper literature survey so this type of research nearly around our be project work means how many repetition in our be project work that you do the research when you stop these type of things these duplication things definitely our uh, growth our technology will improve our technology will improve and abreast and latest developments in different fields of technology what is this different fields of technology latest developments don't think that for example uh, a, uh, any system any manufacturing system any cnc machines or whatever may be don't think that uh, that's all there is a, we cannot do any more modification don't think like that there are so many modifications you can do uh, you can do the small modification the previously when all the uh, the cars have introduced the people said there is no more modification in the cars what we can do all the all the car item major part is electronics electronics completely occupied car that's all there is no more improvement but today's world one person is uh, comes with the driver's less car the tomorrow's world th there is no need of any driver only the sensor is required using that sensor you can park your car you can drive your car just uh, location is enough just point the location is enough it will go so these are all the latest developments in different fields of technology and helps the industry to improve to produce cheaper and better product don't think like that one product is already available if suppose you make a better product or cheaper product or the technology in a simple steps if six steps you are getting answer but you are making something in four steps means that is also a improvement serves as an indicator of achievement in r and d and ability of the individual researchers ability of the individual researcher researchers these are all the some of the advantages of indian patenting system main thing is to encourage the inventors to work on patented inventions on commercial scale so to get a patent there are three important things are required one is called novel non obvious industrial applicable not from the non patentable category of patent law what is novel novel means it should be new nothing copied nothing copied a uh, such new product a non obviousness means uh, how can we explain in the layman language means for example one person is making one product he is one invention is there he is taking some portion from invention a some portion from invention b and some portion from invention c and combining all three things and making one patent or making one invention means then it is comes under non obvious okay it comes under non obviousness and industrially applicable it should be industrially applicable when your invention meets th these three classes novel inventive step or non obviousness and industrial applicable then it's a patentable product and not from the non patentable category some of the things you cannot go for a patent that thing is called section 3 of indian patent act then what is it section 3 of indian patent act so first thing is invention frivolous and contrary to well established natural laws there are so many natural laws are there for example perpetual motion machine giving output without input if someone is saying that my output is uh, 
uh, more than input means it's not at all possible. Output cannot be more than input. It is against the principle of thermodynamic principle. Second law of thermodynamics. For example, if you are taking two idlis, you can do only this much work. You cannot do more work. You cannot do more work. Okay, that's a. There is no perpetual motion exists in the world. Okay. There is no question of perpetual motion. If anybody, if uh, the people comes to you and says that, sir, my invention is, uh, I am getting more output means, it's not at all possible. The one person comes to me, uh, sir, I have invented the train at the top of the train, I fixed uh, the vertical axis and horizontal axis, wind mills. Initially for the start the engine, we use diesel and after the one hour of travel, we stop the supply of diesel. Then. Uh, the windmills rotate from the windmill i am getting the energy i can run the train is it possible it's not at all possible the people say people may think that it is possible so you are getting energy from a using that a energy you are running the b and again from b energy running the a is not at all possible from b you can do some c with lesser energy okay so, this is in descending order, it is not at all possible. Using that uh, windmill energy, one fan inside or light inside the train, you can do not more than that. And contrary to law, morality and injurious to uh, anything, for example, the method of uh, mixing brick powder with uh, sambar powder or uh, uh, the turmeric with uh, yellow powder, something else. If suppose uh, some unhealthy things you are making means, that is not at all possible. So, invention contrary to law, morality and injurious to morality against, for example, uh, method of making drugs, abin. So, these things, the cigarettes, cigarette compositions, these cannot be patented. But some patents are there in cigarettes, but not for the composition, it is for the arrangement, the box, uh, how the uh, special design of cigarette box. Or one person, he comes to me, he made one cigarette and uh, whether to give or not, but it is not with the composition, it is in the bud. In the cigarette end bud, uh, there is uh, some, uh, uh, something like some ball like, uh, the small ball like appearance is there. When you press that uh, bud, immediately the menthol smell will come. So, those type of things, it is not with the composition, that is some of the differences differences are there. Okay, this type of things patentable. Okay, that cigarette box design is patentable. And the discovery of scientific principle and formulation of abstract theory, the mathematical modeling e is equal to mc square, Einstein equation. Somebody is some derivation, they made some derivation. If they say that they want a patent, it is not patentable. And 3D, near new use. So, one composition may cure one disease, the same composition may cure some other disease. So, e each thing is not patentable for the composition, only one patent, okay, that is 3D. The, in the world, only country has 3D is India, except India, no country has this section, 3D. The composition obtained from admixture and its preparation process, sand and salt. If you are mixing two, three things, no improvement, no new property then no chance of getting patent. Arrangement and rearrangement of the uh, known devices. What is this arrangement and I will give you one clear example. The previously in ambassador car, there is an indicator is there. If you press your indicator, the right side lamp will blink. And if you make your steering straight ends, the lamp will not come to rest. But today's world, it is not that. When you make your steering straight ends, automatically your indicator will come to rest. So, this thing is patentable, the previous thing is not patentable. The uh, famous example, umbrella fitted with fan. In umbrella, if suppose one person fits a fan, and you make your umbrella straight ends. Then, uh, if you press the switch, the fan rotates. This operation is different, this operation is different. Then it is not patentable. So, most of the mechanical inventions were objected under mere arrangement and rearrangement of known devices. So, GMA, genetically modified organisms. So, genetically modified organism, there is uh, so many restrictions are there. So, each country has uh, uh, some different, uh, these type of things are there. Still, 
some of the cases are pending and the methods of agriculture and horticulture if someone is saying uh, in this way if you do you can get maximum output in my land means it's not patentable method of agriculture and horticulture and treatment of human beings so doctor cannot claim the the in this way if you do the operation the 100% uh, success in bypass surgery he cannot do so 100% bypass surgery it is not at all possible so these are all the non patentable inventions so one more thing is mathematical business methods and computer methods and as per algorithms it's not patentable the 3k of the patent act says that for and then you may ask a question sir what for cts tcs are having the ipr office yeah they have the ipr office as per indian patent law computer programs are not patentable but as per us patent law computer programs are patentable so what these software companies are doing is they are sending their applications to us so we will forward the applica uh, we will get uh, give a no objection certificate okay this is called form 25 in section 39 of patent act so within 15 days time we will give a no objection certificate using this certificate they will apply patent in other countries okay they will apply patent in other countries the method to control traffic method of tax calculation and computer programs is not patentable literary artistic dramatic creation include holograms television productions is covered under copyright and related rights so mere scheme or rule method and performing the mental act method of playing sachin tendulkar says that in this way you play you can score century it's not patentable okay these are the some of the restrictions in indian patent act anything related to atomic energy if suppose you make a inventions if suppose you make a inventions in uranium thorium plutonium so immediately what we do is we will forward your application to drgo what will get uh, drgo or bark we'll get the clearance from bark any defense related things immediately we send it to drgo once we get the clearance from drgo or bark then we will process your application these are all the non patentable inventions okay these are all the non patentable inventions okay if suppose you made some inventions what you have to do market survey is very very important you make some inventions means if you introduce one product this area whether it will sell or not that you need to for example i will tell you the uh, commercial movie or documentary movie you make one beautiful commercial movie i mean documentary movie that's beautiful message you will get all the award and everything some messages sir but commercial movie on leading actor to songs and fight and something else is there which one you will make you will get award before making your inventions be clear if you do the documentary movie then after some time see the producer you may get so many awards what happened to the producer he will not make any money but commercial movie he can make money so you please distinguish between the two you want to make a documentary movie you get a name no money here you will not get any name but you can make lots of money which one you want like that you make a product and you introduce the and you introduce the products so this is to decide the file a patent once you file a patent what are the things are necessary you are a inventor and go to the intellectual property office the disclosure then the interview may be there and decide or you, you are assigning your invention to somebody else or not and you, you file a patent you want to file a patent or not once you file a patent whether it has a inventive step or not it has a market value or not so inventive step you go for a prior art search and market related rights and study the possible concerns from the industry once you come to this type of the market related attitudes what will comes uh, uh, what are the things the economic concept some of the barriers may come like um, uh, the subsidy so in wto and uh, wto uh, in india there is a subsidy uh, like things are called uh, three type of subsidies are there one is called amber box subsidy blue box subsidy and green box subsidy so what is this amber box subsidy amber box means the ration supply i already told you if suppose the us company comes to india no one buys their product because we are giving everything 
free of cost in the ration. So, subsidy people get everything. So, what WTO says is WTO wants to stop this subsidy. Maybe we know about the de minimis class. So, out of this total production, 10 percent they can give the subsidy. So, developed nations they can give 5 percent subsidy, developing countries they can give 10 percentage of subsidy. So, these are all the things were covered under amber box subsidy. Then one more subsidy is called the blue box subsidy. What is this blue box subsidy? Limitations to the amber box subsidy. So, PMK, PMKS, the two hectare or less land only gets the subsidy. So, this type of things are there. And recently, the uh, Nai Udan scheme, this is for minority companies. Uh, for example, you suppose uh, you are going for some competitive examination, the civil service, when they clear the preliminary examination, so 50% 50 percent, 50 percent, 50,000 rupees subsidy given. 50,000 rupees subsidy given, those the income less than 6 lakhs. That also, not for all, only for the first 600 candidates. Uh, as for the Prime Minister Kishan scheme, below 2 hectares only giving subsidy. So, this is the difference between the amber box and blue box subsidy. And when you start business, so you can avail so much of the bank loans are there. And if you show that your company is a startup company, the five years, your fee structure is less. Okay. Like that, there is so many things are there. For example, one more subsidy is called a green box subsidy. Mostly the countries like US, they use the green box subsidy in R&D. Okay. In R and US gives more subsidy to R and D in the form of green box. So WTO has no restrictions, but restrictions only in amber box because we are all the developed country. So what India argued is, you are giving subsidy in the form of green box subsidy for R and D. We are giving in other form. First, you stop this green box subsidy. Don't give subsidy to R and D. Then we will stop giving that amber box subsidy. Okay, so uh, uh, this is um, some of the uh, things we, you, you must be take care. Okay, uh, for improving this type of uh, things, uh, what India has uh, uh, done is we formed the group called BRICS nations. I think in the BRICS nations also there are so many many countries are there. So, as per the BRICS means, uh, the name itself stands that B for Brazil, R for Russia, I for India, C for China, and S for South Africa. So, Excuse me, Ram, uh, the slide is not moving, I think. Okay. Yeah, right. Uh, now it's okay? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, these are all the, uh, some of the, to improve the country's economy, uh, this type of concept is also uh, introduced like uh, uh, these BRICS nations have formed the bank like a new development bank because uh, that is the China has given for 41 billion. There is no need to approach World Bank. Now, uh, this BRICS has a bank is there. So, what these type of concepts are doing is they are giving the aid to our people. Our people in the sense, uh, if you say that if you make a company, the startup company, immediately you will pay for filing a patent is directly equivalent to the natural person. So recently the thing like, uh, uh, what can I say, the previously uh, for filing the patents, the form 1 is uh, 1750, form 18 is 4400 and form 9 is 2750. These were the fee structures for individuals. So, when you are a company or an institute, this is three times more into three, more than three times. But today, but today, if you make a startup company, you can avail this facility. You can for the first five years, you can avail this facility if you make a startup company. And many people have approached this, this one the recently. If you are applying a patent in the name of Bharatiya University or your college name also, previously the fee structure was 
30, 40,000 rupees. Now it is only the 8,000 rupees. That is natural person fee structure you can utilize. Recently it passed in the parliament. Okay. These are the some of the modification happened and uh, many people they complain that it takes more time for getting a grant. Further, the expedited examination is also introduced. Who can uh, avail? If uh, one in one applicant or inventory is a lady, then you can go for a expedited patent examination. That is uh, uh, from 18 years, the extra amount you need to pay. Though uh, within six months time, six to one year time, you will get a grant or refusal, whatever may be. Okay. These are the some of the modifications happened in Indian patent system. Uh, there are types like the ordinary application, convention application, PCT application, patent of addition and divisional application. What is this ordinary application? If suppose you are filing a patent, you invented something, you come to any patent office and filing. That is ordinary application, convention application. So, you may think that my invention has value in other countries. So, within 12 months time, you go to any country, Europe or US or Japan. So, the priority starts from first Indian filing date, then PCT patent cooperation treaty. You can file a PCT application within one year time. Then we forward your application to WIPO. WIPO, you will forward your application to all the 152 nations. Okay. This is called PCT application. Then patent of addition. What is this patent of addition? You file something, but you want to add some more things. After filing this only, then quoting your same priority application number, parent application, you can do the patent of addition. Then divisional application, you cannot combine four inventions as a one in file a patent. If you do that at that time, the controller will say that you please split and file a patent. That is called divisional applications. So, there are so many things are there in patents. If you are, uh, ask me to talk, I will talk about all these economic concept and patent concept and all those things. So, another 10 more, 15 more minutes are there. I will give you some time for you people to ask questions. Otherwise, the session will be boring. Okay. These are all some of the type of the patent application. Some websites are the ipindia.nic.in. This is our, uh, if any doubts, you go to this website. Uh, there is everything, the forms, everything is available in this website. Then TDB India, Technology Development Board. What is this Technology Development Board? What is this Technology Development Board is doing is they are giving awards. Okay. They are giving awards to the patentees. If suppose you are having inventions, but you don't have money, then what you will do? Those people will finance for your inventions. MIF India. That also they are some helping agents, IndiaInnovates.com. In India, some people are having so much of money and some people, they don't have any money. So, in this scenario, these people is financing for your invention, the mutual benefit. There is an agreement sharing is there. That's IndiaInnovates.com. Then Srishti is always there. Then NRBC is there, TechBiz India and WIPO is there. All this, if you go to these websites, you will get a lot of information. Since above all, in Tamil Nadu state government, they have a cell called the entrepreneurship development cell. Is there in the entrepreneurship development cell? Uh, the if you are you are having a beautiful inventions or if you get a grant, they are giving money up to two lakh rupees for doing your business. Okay, at free of cost, they are giving that entrepreneurship development cell. What uh, previously I was talking with that. Um, uh, director, what he says is many people are not approaching, we are returning more money. So, uh, you can very well utilize this opportunity. So, Tamil Nadu state government is doing some wonderful uh, job, the entrepreneurship development set. Okay. This is our website. Okay. There are so many things are there, there is so many slides are there. Uh, now, it is a time for me to give you. Uh, you can ask some questions that will be better. Okay. If you have some questions. Yeah, thank you, uh, Ram Jagar. I think the, mm. uh, in the lecture was very informative. Mm -hmm. and regarding this, I have one uh, doubt. Like, uh, suppose if you have filed the patent and uh, it took uh, more than a year. Mm -hmm. And okay. after that, if you want to, 
because of that ignorance you know like uh, if you want to file the pct application is it possible sorry i, I so you want to file a pct application now after so, 12 months because my i filed no, the pct no. after 12 months is there any chance to file no 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 it's not possible so from the you will you will lose the priority okay, okay. Uh, then uh, your own invention will become your enemy anything if you want to file a convention application or pct application go within 12 months time okay. pct application so what you need to do is international application you file then we will forward your application to wipo wipo will forward all the countries then to enter into other countries will give a 31 months time period from the first filing date okay. no, no i know but any relaxation now recently anything they have given that sort of idea no sir no 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 okay. because it's a international binding body the pct rules are framed by trips and typo okay. so uh, yeah, nothing is there but in india there is so many relaxation is happened for educational institutes the fee structure mm. is reduced for women inventors some regular uh, uh, some relaxations are there mm. so many things are there okay, okay. thank you yeah yeah anyone else have questions you please feel free to ask i have more slides sir I yeah, yeah, no, no problem. I think this this is more than uh, sufficient. I think the organizers they can uh, you can just instruct the students to ask any uh, queries or any doubts because he is the right person to clarify it. Do you have any doubts? Yeah, please. Any questions? Do mm. you have any doubts regarding the idea? so i think they don't have any questions okay 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 you if, if you want any help in the filing the patents or anything related to means you feel free to call me my uh, my email id i am i am ready to clarify all your uh, all your doubts okay thank you thank you ramji thank you okay 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 thank you very much sir so if you if you don't have any question can i close my session Uh, yeah, I think uh, formal word of thanks, uh, Doctor Bhatia. Yes, sir. Yeah, you will conclude now. Now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Yeah, please. Uh, uh, the Islam is coming to conclude, sir. You call here, uh, yes. Otherwise, uh, if you want me to continue the session, means I can. <laughs> no, 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 sir. This is um, uh, sufficient. I think we we can conclude now. Yes. yes sir. So, thank you, uh, Ram Jagwas sir. Uh, this is a formal conclusion that uh, we have finished the uh, impact lecture series uh, third seminar, and the uh, PPT and the information you have shared is very useful for us to uh, propagate next time. And uh, thank you very much for the uh, clarity in the IPR, sir. And uh, I thank all the uh, students community to come and attend. Uh, Uh, attack and give your patient to listen. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, sir. I think now you can leave. Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Thanks for patient listening. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Okay, but this next set is up. Thank you.